Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to go over how you dye PETG plastic. Here I have the lens that I have already vacuumed. Now I'm going to dip the lens into the dye. I usually keep it there a few seconds, or you can keep it there longer. Try to keep it fully submersed. Okay. Then I immediately rinse it. For some reason, this dye, if it dries just for a few seconds, it will leave a mark. Okay, so there we have a light tint, as you can see. I'm gonna go back into the bucket of eye dye, which if you have a Joann's or a sewing supply store, most likely they do carry it. I recommend keeping the water at about 160 degrees, not much hotter because you'll tend to warp your plastic. Okay, second dip. You'll have to excuse me, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Of course, I'm not holding it under for as long as I usually do because this is just for demonstration purposes. And here you see it has tinted just a little bit darker. Let's go back in. And dip it in the dye for a little bit longer. Also, whenever you mix up your dye in a storage uh, container like this, or a mixing container like this, I should say. If you have a lid for it, you can keep it. I don't know how long yet, because I just started doing this about two weeks ago. But this is the same dye that I mixed two weeks ago. And all I do is heat it up in the microwave every time I need to use it. And one packet of dye will last me for a long time. Okay, as you see, we're getting progressively darker. Let's go back into the dye bucket here. Let's hold it in for a little bit longer this time. I don't like to let my pieces hit the bottom of the bucket or the sides because you never know what residue may have accumulated. And as I noticed with the gelatin um, bag that this dye comes in, they tell you you can go ahead and dissolve it in water with the rest of the dye. But I find that that leaves little boogers throughout the water because some of the gelatin doesn't always break down and then it ends up in your lens ruining your piece. Okay, now here we decided to hold it under a little bit longer. And we get progressively darker as you can see. Now you can use a clean container of water, I'm sure, but as you rinse it, your other water is going to turn a slight shade as well. And I really don't do that because I don't want to inhibit. Even darker yet.
I think everybody gets the idea.